Okay, so Susie wrote in and asked, what is a tracking pixie? Well, it's a little bit different because it's a tracking pixel, and that is our question of the week. You've got questions. We've got answers. Here's another question of the week with Gina Shrek from Social Connects. Okay, so Susie, your question that you wrote in with definitely made us chuckle here because I picture Peter Pan or Tinkerbell flying around with tracking pixels or tracking pixie dust. Um, and in a way, I guess we can look at it, it is a little like pixie dust because a tracking pixel is a little pixie dust that you're going to place on your website so that anyone who visits your website gets a little pixie dust that follows them to Facebook or follows them to Google and then it starts it gives you the ability to advertise to them so let's just say that you go and look at a fabulous pair of shoes on a website just hypothetically and you look at this great pair of shoes and you're thinking wow I should buy these and you're like no what am I doing I gotta get back to work you close the tab on your browser and then you go and log into Facebook that night and what do you see when you log into Facebook that's right. You see those fabulous pair of shoes everywhere you go. You might go to Google and you're just Googling a, a, a word definition on a definition site and all of a sudden at the top of the page on this website is a banner ad for those shoes. What happened was that shoe company placed a tracking pixel on their website so that anyone who visits their website, they can then collect Basically, they're dropping a cookie, they're collecting your data so that the next time you log in to Facebook, Google, wherever they want to run ads, they can now run ads to say, I want to run an ad on Facebook for anyone who has ever visited our website. They can't say whoever has visited our website in the history of time, but basically within the last 180 days, anyone who visits our website. So. Susie, my recommendation is all of us should place the tracking pixels for all of these, a, a Twitter tracking pixel, Google tracking pixel, Facebook tracking pixel. It's a piece of code, and if you're not technical and you don't want to chance logging into the back end of your um, website, it would be like me trying to work on my car. You know, sometimes you think of it that scary. But give this to your web manager and tell them you need the tracking pixel placed in the header on your website and once that piece of code is there it goes to work for you whether you decide to run ads or not all of us should have the tracking pixels placed on our website because it starts collecting information for you so for example in Facebook you can go in and set um, go into the ads area where you run an ad and then in there you'll see custom audiences it's under the audiences area of an ad on Facebook and you're going to create a custom audience from a tracking pixel and then you click on it and it gives you the code it even has a button that says send this click here to send this to your webmaster and you just email it to them um, once those are on your website it's going to continue collecting this custom audience so let's say six months from now you decide to run an ad on Facebook you decide to do some advertising well suddenly all those people who have visited your website are now already put into this custom audience and all of them will see your ads and they'll be more effective because it's like a little warm lead and it is like pixie dust that you have left for them and if you're not sure where to get your Google tracking pixel ask your webmaster they know these things they they speak pixie language so it should be helpful so Susie thanks for the fun and entertaining question um, be sure you all subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss a juicy nugget or any pixie dust and so I look forward to getting your questions um, connecting with you on social media and until the next video Get out there and be social.